How to Light a Burnham Series 2 Gas-Fired Boiler Pilot And why the system stopped operating, although I turned the gas off and need to relight, I realized after I turned it off that it must have been lit because all of a sudden, the water temperature had climbed out it had been off since yesterday but maybe my cycling the power got it to kick back on. But I didn't see that until after I had turned the gas to off position. I can send you link to the manual, which has lighting instructions. cdn.useboiler.net slash product slash boilers slash series 2 slash assets slash manual dot pdf. Okay, I see you have that. Let me look and see if I can steer you in the right direction. Thanks. Yes, once I can find the pilot, I believe I can follow the instructions to light it. Although I realize that the system stopped operating for some reason, and I still have that issue to deal with. But since I saw the water temp climb up to 120 F, and saw that after I shut off the gas, maybe it's working okay again, I'm not sure. Okay. Looks to me like it has electronic ignition, so you don't have to light the pilot. So, it must be working fine now. The instructions state that I need to light with a match while holding the red button down, and with valve and pilot, setting. Hmm, maybe I'm seeing something different. Let me check. Model B. Let's see. Model B can have either option, standing pilot or electronic ignition and the manual has instructions for both. If you don't see a pilot lit, and when the thermostat calls for heat it will light itself. And if it seems to be working G after you cut it off, a standing pilot won't relight itself. So, if the temperature has risen and you didn't light anything, you have an A, electronic ignition. I noticed the water temp had risen after I turned off the gas. I.e., I shouldn't have shut it off. But I did, and there has been no heating since I shut it off. I set it to pilot, and I smelled gas. I shut it back off. The instruction manual, and the instructions on the back of the door panel, both state the pilot burner needs to be lit with a match. And regarding seeing a lit pilot, my issue is I don't know where the pilot tube is. So regardless of whether it's lit, I wouldn't know because I can't find it. That's my question, where is the pilot burner? And how do I get to it? I am happy to speak over the phone if you think that would be easier for you. By the way, my gas valve has three positions, on, off and pilot. I see a page in the manual that only has two positions, on and off. I'm guessing that's the version with electronic ignition. Can I assume that since I have a pilot setting, that I don't have electronic ignition? Yes, it sounds like now you have a standing pilot. So, it tells you to use a match? You should be able to turn the knob to pilot and push it in, you should hear gas coming out of the pilot listen and look is all I can advise, sounds like it's cramped in there. Once you find it, let the area clear for 5 minutes and then try to light it. Thanks. XXXXXXXXXXX I'm assuming the pilot is in a different place than the valve. The instructions first state to turn the valve to the off position. Then, it says remove the burner access panel located above the burners. Then it gives instructions on how to manually light the pilot. So I would assume this means the pilot burner is not located in the area of the valve as then it wouldn't give instructions to remove another panel before going on to the next step. 
There are no drawings or schematics in the instructions that show where the burner access panel is, or even where the burners are so I can locate a panel above it. I took off the top panel but see nothing. I'm guessing you aren't familiar with this model, so I can stop asking questions. But how do I proceed now? While I appreciate your efforts, I haven't gotten an answer to the question I posed in my first submission, where is the pilot burner? I don't want to give you a bad rating, but I don't feel I should pay for advice like listen and look. I tried that. I had already put the gas valve on pilot setting, and held the red button down, but A, I don't see where the gas is coming from, and B, I still haven't removed the burner access panel, so I am assuming it is not exposed. I disabled the rating feature and I can opt out no, so maybe someone else can help you. Thank you. I do appreciate your efforts. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. Welcome. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I will do my best to help you with your issue. Let me know if you still need help with this. Thanks, Rick. I still can't find the pilot burner. I now see the two metal lines running from the valve to the pilot burner and thermocouple, according to the drawing and the instructions, but the lines seem to go inside the burner and I have no idea how to get to them to relight. I'm not sure what the burner access panel is, but that is what the instructions state I need to remove after closing the valve. So clearly another panel, my guess inside the box. I just tried taking off the whole side panel, but A, I can only move it a few inches given the gas lines and then water lines going into the boiler, and B, even when I peer behind it, I can see there is no access to the pilot. I cannot tell you how difficult it is to look inside via the end panel which I removed, slides out, to get to the valve. So much crap blocking my ability to even get my head back there. I think I need to call the company that ran the gas line to the boiler a few years ago and let the pilot dot they can relight as well as diagnose why the system isn't working right. So unless you know an easy way to access the pilot burner, I guess I'll just call the guy. I wasn't trying to cheap out, but I'm flying out tomorrow for the week, and wife is out on appointments all week long, so I was trying to mess with it today since I can't set up an appointment for at least a week. Thanks Rick. Okay, burner access panel is the sheet metal panel directly above the burners. There is a wing nut at each end that you back off to get the panel off. Depending on the age of your boiler there might be a flame rollout sensor attached to this panel so either disconnect the two leads or just be careful not to disturb the connections. Once you have the panel off juice follow the bare copper wire in the aluminum tubing to the end where you'll find the pilot burner. Thanks Rick. You nailed it. I had removed that panel before, thinking maybe that's it, no wing nuts dot it just lifts up, but I couldn't see anything behind it. This time I forced my fat head between the pipes and could just barely peer down into it dot and there is the pilot burner. Although to be honest I don't think I can get my arm back there while holding the red button down dot this is such a bad install, there is just no access. But a guy started it a few years ago, so we will try. Thanks, xxxxxxxxxxxxxx I got you first as I would have saved a lot of writing. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.